What year did you join the RAF? 1952. And you were 20? 20, 22. 22. Mm. What did the letter say, can you remember? Get in quick or else. <laughs> did you want to go in? No. No. Okay. Well, I was going to get it. I, I, I saved me time as apprentice. I was on, on good, really good money, seven pound or an, over seven pound an hour. After taxes, oh god, I barely even had a car to run. Not and a motorbike. So when you went into the rap, what happened to them? Just, just in the back garden. Did you get them back when you got home? We wouldn't go. <laughs> so it wasn't a case of you wanted to go. You had to go. Yeah. So, when you got there, what was your job? Total mechanic. What did that involve? I was a fly boat. But a, a lot of it, heavy bombers as well. They had turrets on, on the back and front. And some of them had turrets, on, like the Lancaster, had turrets on the back, on the top. Uh, it was nothing to do with me, because that was an electric turret, you know. Mm. But these had uh, machine guns. I wouldn't call them machine guns, I would have called them pepper, pepper pot things. Fancy fine, you know, against a heavy, a heavy arms German with little, uh, these little point three oh three Brownings. Right, did you ever feel like leaving? No, you, you couldn't. You would have been shot. <laughs> so you had to do two years. Two uh, exactly two years, and I, mm. you know, uh, and I came out on, on the fourth, like you know. Is everybody happy? Cries the shaker looking up. A hero meekly answered yes, and then they stood him up. He leaped right out into the blast, his daddy climbed and hook, and he ain't gonna jump no more. Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to... Where did you go abroad? You went to... Malta, Gibraltar. Yeah. Greenland. What, 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 what happened in Greenland? We just waited around all day. Yeah. And we uh, and uh, they were all, all all the fly boats were, were you know uh, uh, petrol driven of course, but you had to go out of the the, the storage tank yeah. and bring the petrol in on a tank <laughs> and pour it into the you know and it was go whoop whoop <laughs> <laughs> like a jerry can type of thing. Yeah. Which we didn't uh, you know. And some right somebody came out with an idea uh, to use the, with this special pump. Now they've been using them on the stations because they were that heavy. We couldn't put them on the aircraft. Right. So you just have to pour it in and hope for the best. And there's nothing to do with us. <laughs> oh, well, what was the, the the lads like that you worked with? They weren't bad. Did they you have a good laugh with them? Hmm? Did you have a good laugh with them? Yeah. And what did the did you go out for a weekend and get have a few drinks? We always got. Well, I didn't. I didn't drink much because you know we got. Oh, uh, if we ever got drunk, all I done was fall asleep flat on the floor. <laughs> Immediately on landing, unloading commences, and the machines are prepared for the return journey. Even through storms and mists, the hazardous chain of supply went on. Do you know the original group that you were, you were in the RAF with? Yeah. When did they first contact you for a reunion? About... I was asking your, your mum over that. But uh, I, I, I completely forgot. Probably, it's probably about 15 years ago, isn't it? It, it must be, it must be. about 15, 15 years ago. So how many do you reckon were there when you...? When we went, I was just showing you, there was 164 at Coventry. Yeah. And uh, the last time we went, there was five, uh, five couples. Right. To mix with you. <laughs> <laughs> so the officers weren't allowed to no. meet with the...? No, you know, you know what you see in these films, though? Like they've got the officers and uh, and sergeants or, or pilots. Yeah. They never mix together. <laughs> so they were all separated. They were all, you know. Oh. So d when when you were in there, you said there's something about nosebleeds. Did it when you got to a certain height or something? Did you get nosebleeds? I don't know. I, I went to I went to become pilot. You know. Yeah. I went for the I went there for the uh, exam. Passed out. You know. Yeah. And then uh, they give you a bit of more and more tests, 
and one of the tests go up to uh, 35,000 feet yeah. and switch the what's name off. The, uh, switch the, uh, the, the, the air control of it. And uh, it says, it, like, it's like a pressure test, you know. Yeah. Then they start bleeding, so whoop, down, out. Right. So you didn't do that one again. So what type of plane was that you went up in? An Anson. Right. Yeah, an Anson, yeah. So the flying boat, what what height would they go up to? I think the, the height was 20,000, I think. 18 to 20,000. They, they were there to go sink German submarines. Right. That's the, the sort of main purpose, and pick a pick pair Aircraft that have been you know, shut down in the channel. Right. Oh, well, they do transport and things like that, of course, you know. But it was freezing cold. Well, imagine you, you were landed on the 16th of metal. You know, when you landed. Yeah. With the hull, about right. 16 to a quarter of an inch, you know. So it's a bit scary then. Well, you didn't, you didn't believe us or not, you didn't even think of it. I, th I think if you were in the middle of the sea and this thing landed there, it was like a little sort of angel, wasn't it, to save your life? Sure, yeah. Do you think you would have stayed in the RAF if you had a choice? No. Why? Because I had a good job. You didn't like getting shot there. <laughs> Not that much. No, I had a, good, a really good job. Well, I'd, I'd done five years 